This press conference is about Hurricane Joaquin, uh, which is uh, making its way. We don't know exactly where. But I just wanted to, to reassure the citizens of Pennsylvania that we uh, are doing everything we can to make sure that we're prepared for this. Uh, I just got off a call with uh, all of us uh, and 67 county emergency managers uh, uh, to talk about preparations, to talk about the direction that the hurricane seems to be taking at this point, um, and to make sure that, that the Commonwealth is in a position to do everything it can to support the work of the county emergency managers uh, in doing what they're doing to make sure their citizens are safe. Um, and by the way, just want to say thank you, as I did on the, on the call, to the county emergency managers for doing what they're doing to keep us safe. Um, the agencies here, we have the State Police, National Guard, the Department of Health, Department of Transportation, of course, Pima. Uh, we're all working together uh, to make sure that we're doing what we can uh, to prepare for this, this hurricane. Uh, and the purpose of this press conference is to make sure everyone in Pennsylvania knows that we're doing everything we can that's possible to make sure that, that, uh, that they're safe, uh, depending on uh, in case anything happens with, with the weather. Again, we don't know what's happening. You see the, the same news reports we do. This particular hurricane has taken a lot of different tacks. Um, the modeling seems to say that it's moving a little bit farther east now, uh, and we may not be uh, hit as hard, but we, you don't know. This, and this, this hurricane especially has taken a lot of uh, twists and turns, so I think it's too early to, to say that, that we're not going to get hit. So we're, we're, again, as they always say, hoping for the best, but we're preparing for the, for the worst. Um, we, uh, I received some additional briefings from uh, Director Flynn. Again, we're coordinating state uh, agencies. We're working with the private sector, nonprofits like the Red Cross, and again, as I said, counties around Pennsylvania to make sure we all have the resources we need and that they're in place to make sure that, that uh, if needed, uh, we're ready. Uh, we're coordinating with the Federal Emergency Management Agency, uh, this, our federal partners, uh, and in law enforcement and public utilities across the state to make sure that we're prepared. Obviously, we're, we're concerned about any outages, uh, 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 electricity outages. We don't want to, uh, uh, we want to make sure that we respond as quickly as we can to those things. Uh, the key here, again, is we're doing everything we can at the state level. I just want to repeat that <clears throat> it's really important that, that the individual citizens and the families do everything they can. Uh, you ought to have, in any emergency, weather emergency or otherwise, have three days' worth of food. If you need medications, make sure that you have three days' worth of medications so that you're set. Uh, stay in your home uh, with the inclement weather. You want to stay in, in the house. And if, if it becomes necessary to evacuate, either because you think you're not safe where you are or because you've been asked to evacuate by the county emergency management agencies, uh, then do so as quickly as you can. Uh, take documents that you need uh, and uh, make sure that you evacuate as quickly as possible. The counties will have uh, places that you can uh, assemble uh, and emergency uh, uh, shelter for you if you should, should need that. So again, we're doing everything we can. Let me turn this over to Director Flynn for more details. Uh, but the idea is that we don't know what the weather is going to, we don't know what this hurricane is going to do, what impact it's going to have on Pennsylvania. But we are taking every making every preparation we can to make sure that we're ready uh, for whatever comes our way. Director Flynn. <clears throat> Thank you, Governor, and good afternoon. You know, uh, we have been watching this thing for the last three or four days. Uh, uh, we've been in constant communication with the National Weather Service and, in fact, with the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Uh, we have a, had a call this morning at 7.30. We'll be on a call. Uh, at 5.30 this evening with the National Hurricane Center and FEMA, working very closely with the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA's role is to support the states, where Pima's role is to support the counties, and their role is to support the locals uh, and uh, local first responders. And we're doing everything we can uh, to, in fact, take our plans, and, and we have um, the, uh, a, a hurricane plan uh, checklist that we, it starts off with uh, five days out. 
and we go walk right through that plan to identify what are the things that needs to be done. And it ranges from, again, making sure that our, our specialized teams are in place, our equipment's in place, working with the counties to identify any shortfalls, any gaps that they may have, making sure, and I, I think, and this is the critical component of this, of this uh, news conference, is making sure that the public truly understands um, that they are, in fact, a critical aspect of our emergency response ca uh, capability. We, we've always said we need to make sure that <clears throat> as citizens, the public has 72 hours and stabilize, to save 72 hours to be able to maintain their, their capabilities so that we can provide that assistance and, and if you will have the cavalry come within that 72 hours to help them. But there's little things that the, the public can do. Just as the governor pointed out, and, and we have uh, 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 the, the website uh, www.readypa.gov where folks can go there and get a plan, identify what, what in fact uh, they are able to do. But I will tell you, even my 10 year old daughter this morning said to me, you know, because I was on a hurricane call uh, at home early and, and she says, uh, well, what should we do, Dad? Should we go to the basement? Taking that time to, speak, to talk to your kids and go through that, this is what we're doing, we're prepared, and you know, everything from, you know, obviously as the governor pointed out, food and, and, and medications, but little things like, what if I lose my power and I need to have uh, a cell phone to be able to call? Well, do I have a cigarette lighter charger in, in, in my car to be able to charge up uh, my cell phone? Um, we're, we're asking you to, to, to recognize that you're all, the, the citizens are all part of our emergency response community. It's a whole community response. Our job is here to coordinate uh, the state agencies and the tremendous capabilities they have to be able to support the counties. But we do need the help with the, uh, from the citizens to be able to help us help you. And uh, at this point, I'll turn it back to the governor if in, in, in any of the cabinet members would yeah. like to speak. Anything you guys want to point out? Good afternoon. Um, my name is uh, Tyree Blocker. And I'm the uh, commissioner of the Pennsylvania State Police. And um, first of all, I just want to say that uh, from a state police perspective, um, our uh, members uh, in the Commonwealth uh, are prepared to go to what we call Condition W. And essentially what that is is troopers uh, will be monitoring uh, road conditions as well as weather conditions and we're in the process of ensuring that our watch center is uh, prepared to gleam information throughout uh, the state that the uh, troopers provide to the watch center to ensure that uh, roadways in the Commonwealth um, are uh, passable and that uh, there's no obstacles uh, on those roadways. So we're in a position to work with um, uh, PennDOT and Pima uh, to ensure that the citizens of the Commonwealth uh, have the resources that they may need uh, to, in the event that there is a, uh, a weather-related incident. Uh, our job is to just ensure that uh, we're coordinating that and making sure that uh, our roadways uh, are uh, passable and that we can get that information out through our watch center in the event that there's a, uh, uh, there's a problem on our roadways. So uh, we're still continue to look forward to uh, working with our state partners. Hi, I'm here to report uh, PennDOT preparations. Uh, PennDOT pre is preparing for this storm like we would for any significant uh, potential weather event. Our crews are out right now to uh, areas that are prone to flooding. Our crews are looking for tree limbs, making sure that all inlets are cleared. We're working with our state agencies, as co of course, and also with our county emergency centers to make sure that our roads are uh, best prepared for whatever may come. Of course, we are uh, in direct contact with the weather forecast agencies as well. We're keeping a close eye, of course, coordinating with Pima on that. Uh, we will be having our, our WebEx communications, which means that all of our staff in, in all uh, 11 districts across uh, the Commonwealth will be in direct communication. We will have, uh, we have a scheduled one planned for uh, late tomorrow afternoon and to make sure that we are prepared and planned and of course schedule any upcoming communications that we feel are necessary throughout the weekend. Uh, but we are uh, prepared 
prepared and uh, ready for whatever uh, the forecast may bring us. And of course, we'll be working closely uh, with all the of, of all of our um, colleagues here uh, in the state to make sure uh, that everybody uh, is safe over this weekend, uh, no matter what uh, the hurricane brings. Make Thank you. Introduce yourself. Oh, uh, PennDOT Secretary Leslie Richards. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Karen Murphy, Secretary of Health for the Department of Health. Uh, as my colleagues have shared, we are all working together to keep to help uh, help ensure the health and safety of all Pennsylvanians. The Department of Health will be posting information uh, over the next 72 hours on exactly how to stay sta safe and tips um, for facing the weather situation, whatever that may be. So our website is health.pa.gov, um, and we hope that everybody consults um, the website so that everybody stays safe for the weekend. Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Thanks Governor. Good afternoon. Uh, Major General Jim Joseph, the Adjutant General of Pennsylvania, supporting the uh, Air and Army National Guard with 20,000 great soldiers and airmen of your Commonwealth. What we do is uh, not only our federal mission, but we support all domestic operations through Pima. So as my counterparts gave their, their uh, website, I would suggest if there is a problem that you call Pima, and Pima <laughs> will, will call us to support them. That's normally how that works. So all those county commissioners and folks out there, if you have a problem, please go through Pima, and we will be there to support you with all the needs or desires that you may need. Thank you. I have one correction. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I apologize. www.readypa.org, not com. www.readypa.org. Critical website for folks to get on there, identify. Um, it has how you can set up a plan. Uh, contacts uh, and, and such. So readypa.org. Thanks.